The Binding of Isaac, one of my favorite video game franchises of all time. The Binding of Isaac is a dungeon crawler style game based heavily around the Legend of Zelda and, get this, religion. I won't explain much more because chances are, if you're watching this video, then you probably like or have at least seen The Binding of Isaac. So today, I'm going to be discussing my least favorite characters to my favorites. And a fair disclaimer, I am only counting down Afterbirth plus characters. I have not had the chance to play Repentance yet. I'm very sorry about that. Without further ado, let's get on to the countdown. At number 15, we have Lilith. Now, Lilith is a character that I despise playing. By all means, she isn't bad, but she just isn't my type of character. Lilith's main gimmick is that she is permanently blindfolded but starts with an incubus, meaning she can't shoot tears but her familiar can. She also starts with Cambion Conception and Box of Friends. Cambion Conception allows Lilith to gain another demonic familiar upon taking a certain amount of damage, and Box of Friends doubles any familiar you have for one room. The reason I hate playing as Lilith is that I like to be the one who controls where the tears are entirely fired and have full control. I hate taking any familiar unless it's like Rotten Baby or Lil Brim. And if I see something like Brother Bobby or Lil Steven, I do anything I can to reroll them or even just skip them. At number 14 we have Blue Baby and or question mark question mark question mark. Blue Baby is, in my opinion, the least unique character. He's basically just Isaac but starts with the poop item, woohoo. He's just so bland to me and what's worse, he literally cannot get red hearts. Any health upgrade is instantly turned into a soul heart. Now this can be useful if you're going for devil deals but besides that it sucks. Like I said, Blue Baby is just so basic but at least he has an easy unlock. All you have to do is defeat mom's heart 10 times which you would normally do anyways during a normal run. At number 13 we have Maggie. Maggie falls under the same boat as Blue Baby. She just isn't unique enough for me. Maggie starts with the Yum Heart, an item that allows the player to gain a heart back with each use. Maggie also has the chance to hold a full health or speed pill, so I suppose that is something, but there just isn't much else to say about her. She is the tank of the bunch, and that's all I can think of. At number 12 we have one that will probably give me a lot of hate, Apollyon. Now I for sure know that this is going to be one that just... Yeah, I'm gonna get hate for this, but I don't like him, and I don't like the Void as an item either. It is very useful, don't get me wrong, but I like to have one thing going on at a time, and having multiple items used at once, gosh, not for me. The only reason Apolly is above the others is because I like his design, but even then, doesn't he have wings? The least they could do is give him flight. Come on, Ed. Coming up at number 11, we have the Keeper. The Keeper is... okay. Don't get me wrong, he's a fine character, but it's what you have to do to obtain him that bugs me. The Keeper is unlocked after donating 1,000 coins to the Greed Machine after every Greed run. This is insane, especially for a mediocre character. The Keeper shoots triple shot coin tiers, so he's basically starting with the Inner Eye and Head of Keeper. The Keeper just isn't worth it in my opinion. Obviously you have to obtain him if you plan on 100% in the game, but if you aren't, I wouldn't sweat too much about getting him. At number 10 I have Lazarus. Now, I don't hate Lazarus. In fact, he's pretty good. Lazarus is a character who benefits from dying. After Lazarus dies, he spawns as a stronger version of himself. So basically, your goal is to die ASAP. I usually wait until I find my first sacrifice room and kill him from there. Lazarus is a decent character. He has a pretty cool gimmick and good stats, but I just don't like to play as him much. And honestly, I don't even know why. At number 9, we have Kane. Kane is a little simple for me, but I still really like to play as him. Yes, he's basic, but look at that eye patch. How could you say no to him? Starting with Lucky Foot and eventually the Paperclip Trinket, Kane is all about the money, so shoot as many poops and fires as you can because it's likely you will find money. The Paperclip Trinket is super helpful because it allows you to open golden treasure chests for free, which is super handy. Kane is a pretty decent character. Coming up at number 8 we have Eve. Now Eve is a fun character to me. Eve starts with two hearts, Horror of Babylon and Dead Bird, both super useful items. When Eve gets down to one heart, Horror of Babylon is activated and you get to turn into Eve's demon form with all race stats until you get to above one heart. And Dead Bird is good because it's an easy get to gain free kills by simply hiding or running and letting the bird attack the enemies for you. Eve is a good character. At number 7 I picked a Judas. Judas is a pretty simple yet cool character. First of all, he starts with Book of Belial and starts with 4.72 damage, which is a huge increase from Isaac. Judas starts with only one red heart, but the Book of Belial makes up for it. Judas is pretty simple, but he starts with a great item and great attack. I also love the hat. At number 6 I have Samson. 
Now I have a very soft spot for Samson. Samson starts with Bloody Lust, an item that makes it so that when you take damage you gain attack, which is super helpful. He starts with less attack than Isaac, but the Bloody Lust beyond makes up for it, and the Bloody Lust even stays active throughout the entire floor, not just one room. Samson is a great character because going into curse rooms, playing demon beggars, and giving health to the blood donation machine not only gives you money, items, and whatever else, but it also raises your attack. Samson is also super good in greed mode. At number 5 I have the Forgotten. I love the premise of the Forgotten. Playing as the Forgotten gives you two characters to play as. You have the actual Forgotten, a skeleton who uses a bone to attack, and the Spirit of the Forgotten, a blue looking spirit that shoots tears. The Forgotten is so much fun to play. You can basically choose your playstyle. Rather you want to play riskier but deal more damage with the Forgotten and hit things with your bone, or hide and deal less damage with the spirit by shooting tears. The Forgotten can also use his bone as a boomerang. Huh. Huh. Boomerang. Might as well call it a bonerang. The spirit is attached to the Forgotten by a chain of sorts, so he can't move too far, but you can hide behind the bones of the Forgotten and shoot, which makes up for it. Overall, just a super fun character and makes runs interesting. At number 4 I have Azazel. Azazel basically turns your game into easy mode. Starting with a small brimstone shot in flight, he makes everything a piece of cake. I love Azazel because if I'm struggling to gain a win streak, I can just switch to him and BAM, back on a win streak. I love Azazel's design as well, he looks so cool. There's not much else to say about this lad, thank you for letting me win for free, Azazel. At number 3 I have Eden. Eden is such a fun character. Eden basically turns around into complete randomness. His gimmick is that he starts with random items, so each run is going to be extremely different. You never know if you're going to get an easy run or a hard run. You could get Polyphemus or you could get Butterbean. You never know where you're going to start with. Plus, I love Eden's little tuft of hair. Eden can only be played by collecting Eden tokens. You get one Eden token every time you beat It Lives or Mom's Heart, which isn't bad. I love Eden because of how unpredictable he is. At number 2, I have the one and only, the legendary lad, Isaac. I love Isaac because of how simple he is. He's the base character, base stats, so on and so forth. It's just so fun to watch you start with nothing and then see how you look at the end of a run. But the other big reason I love Isaac is because of the D6, of course. Allowing you to reroll any items into something else is phenomenal. It can seriously save a run. Say you got my reflection in your item room. You're at half a heart and you have 3 cents, two away from being able to buy a heart at the shop. You have no bombs, everything is looking dim. Suddenly, you re-roll into a bomb item of sort. That's 5 plus bombs. You can blow up the shopkeeper and get your 2 cents, earning you that heart. Isaac is so basic, but that's why I love him. Plus, he is the face of the game, so it's hard not to like him. And finally, at number 1, I have The Lost. This is, without a doubt, my favorite character. I love doing Lost runs. The amount of excitement you get during one is amazing. Lost is a character that starts with no health whatsoever and can't gain any health or health upgrades either. This means that one hit and you are gone. Dead. See ya. Now given, after donating so many coins into the greed machine, he gains the Holy Mantle, which gives him one free hit in each room. Call me crazy, but I like Lost more without the Holy Mantle. It's just so much more fun. Plus, you already have Flight and Spectral Tears, which can seriously help if you're a corner. Just fly on top of a rock or pot and shoot. It might take a while, but it works. Lost is just so, so much fun to play as. Thank you everyone for watching my countdown video. Um, I had fun making this one. It was a bit of a challenge, but I know our opinions are going to differ a lot, like having Napoleon at such a low score and whatnot, but... Let me get all your guys' opinion on this. Um, I would love to hear your favorite character, your least favorite, even write a whole list if you want to. Thank you everyone for watching, and peace out.